Hi, my name is Rachel Jones. I am the second Knight Health Fellow um, through the International Center for Journalists, uh, funded by the Gates Foundation. And I want to tell you about an example of a really positive early impact that the program and the training has been able to have. And uh, primarily it's based on a sort of a, a, a collaborative effort, if you will. It stemmed from a series of stories that were uh, developed by the um, Knight Fellow in Kampala, Chris Conti, and he had worked with a trainee to help do a series of stories about referral hospitals in Uganda. So I saw an opportunity to follow that with a package of stories about problems in hospitals in Kenya based on a report out of the government's uh, Committee on Health. And uh, essentially the stories stem from the fact that even the government found that there were tremendous problems in public health hospitals in Kenya issues like overcrowding and uh, lack of services, uh, et cetera. I felt that the Nation Media Group had an opportunity to send reporters into the various regions of Kenya to explore these problems, but to do it in a way that was different than any other coverage had been done. In other words, to tell the stories of how these problems affected real people's lives. So we spent two weeks sending reporters out to the various hospitals to tell stories, to find out what real people were experiencing in terms of trying to access care in these poorly funded, overcrowded, uh, understaffed uh, facilities. And what we came up with was a series of stories that ran on September 22nd. It's the heading is Shame of the Public Health Service, but it essentially characterized all of the problems through a series of feature stories written by reporters from six different regions in Kenya. The story centers on problems on things like overcrowding in maternity wards, women who uh, were sharing beds, who uh, had lack of access to care by uh, follow-up care by doctors. Uh, in one situation, uh, there were even women sleeping on the floor underneath beds in the hospital. The stories uh, had an immediate impact on the website in that there were quite a few emails that sent in and people commented on uh, these ongoing kinds of lapses in services from the, the government, the Kenyan government. The following day, um, the Kenya Medical Association uh, made an official comment on our series and spoke about uh, the, the need for the government to uh, respond quickly and dramatically uh, up to these problems. But what impressed and, and uh, encouraged all of the uh, staffers at the nation and so primarily the reporters who felt very proud of their work Two days later, we were able to run a story that essentially said the Kenyan government had committed to spending $7.5 million over the next year to upgrade services at Kenyan hospitals. Uh, it's an incredible story of a, a quick turnaround on impact, but uh, it certainly speaks to the fact that these issues are something that the public responds to quickly and wants immediate action on. And uh, we're doing lots of follow-up and lots of keeping in touch with officials to make sure that these changes happen.